What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Piscean Predator. I'm back with that TPP True Crime Talk. Um, before we get started, man, can you guys smash that like, smash that subscribe, help your boy out. And for those who are subscribed, I got a poll over in the community section. It's basically, I want to know if you guys want to see me go live once a week so we can, you know, recap the week and the trials and the cases. And you guys have an opportunity to ask me questions and we'll see if I can answer them. You know what I mean? But either way, it, I think it'll be a great, a great deal. We'll have some good conversation. But go over there and let me know, yes or no, what you all think about it. And, and we'll see where it goes from there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit this topic up. Um, this topic is the Gwyneth Paltrow trial, the ski accident trial. And uh, yeah, man, we're, uh, we're making through, we're making our way slowly through the witnesses. And I say, I should say witness, because it seemed like at this point, we're going to see one witness a day. But anyways, um, we got to see the first witness for the plaintiff, who's a doctor, um, basically to break down what the plaintiff was dealing with prior to this accident and how his life changed after the accident. And so far off of his testimony, it was seen that, yeah, the man's life pretty much got changed when he got clipped by Miss Paltrow, supposedly, right? Um, and, and like I said yesterday, the injuries, I mean, the injuries this man sustained don't sound like injuries you would sustain running into somebody, you know what I mean? going down a slope you know what i mean unless that person was dead stopped and you were hauling but it, it, even at that the injury sustained if they were if it was that situation and the plaintiff actually plowed into miss paltrow miss paltrow would be the one with all the injuries but she ain't she was a little sore so the story of her coming down and plowing into him landing on top of him bouncing off him getting his ribs broken and a concussion to where he's got actually he has sustained a level of brain damage D dude like i i now gwyneth paltrow's lawyers are good they're getting up there and they're trying to do their thing and talk circles around the doctor and doing those little simple yes no questions so they can try to like you know work around the facts but from everything this doctor was allowed to say and break down medically in this case so far on this day dude in my opinion, unless, like I said, defense, Gwyneth's defense can, you know, change my mind, it sounds like she was at fault. I mean, the story from the one witness that actually seen what happened, you know what I mean? And then the, the evidence from the injuries and how those injuries would be sustained. And then the magnitude of his injuries. Dude, I don't, I don't know how they're going to fight their way out of this one, man. I really don't. And then if you're like sitting on the jury jury stand, I mean in the jury box, it's like you gotta think like there's one there's one witness so far for the plaintiff that was like a witness that really, besides going out skiing with him from you know a couple times from a group ski meetup thing, like he don't really he ain't got no call to help the plaintiff really to go put himself on a nationally televised shit worldwide televised trial to go after a movie star right he really has no cause so i don't know why you would do that unless what you're saying is fact okay and then like yeah man you then you have you know the rest of the people besides the medical professionals the rest of the people that are going to testify in this in this uh trial they're all either family of gwyneth paltrow or they were paid instructors by gwyneth paltrow so you telling me that they're going to have they're going to be credible witnesses that aren't going to be biased i just don't buy that guys i just don't buy it it's hard for me to buy so you know obviously we got to let the case progress and we'll see what's what you know and defense i always give defense or the prosecution determining on the case a chance to change my mind on what the witnesses and the professionals are saying but so far between the witness you know story and statement and then the first doctor that has taken the stand for the plaintiff i uh Man, it's looking like it's Gwyneth's at fault. And to be honest with you, I don't know why she didn't just settle out of court. She wants to say it's the principle of the matter. So she's countersing for a dollar. This all sounds like a show, man. It feels like she's just trying to, you know, put herself in a little bit of spotlight. You know what I mean? Like, you know how some of these actors be. They want attention. So I don't know, man. It just, it, to me, she would have paid less in the long run if she would have just paid this man out of court. 
I mean, if you go listen to trial, his life has been drastically changed. It's literally messed up the way that he thinks and acts and functions to the fact that to the point where it's ruined the relationship that he was in. And then it's, it's strained, put a strain on the relationships with his kids and his grandkids. And the man just doesn't do the things that he did before. And we're talking about a military veteran, a military doctor who literally was very outgoing, healthy, and like did things. And now his life has completely changed since the accident. So and there's just too much, too much weighing um, in the defendant's favor. I mean, I'm sorry, the plaintiff's favor for me to be like, no, nah, she didn't do it. Now, granted, you know, YouTube chat, live chat is a whole different, you know, <laughs> it's a whole different ball game on what people are saying on there. But, you know, for us people that watch this type of stuff and look at it rationally, and you know break it down and take it in um yeah so far that's where i'm at guys i, I feel like hmm, i feel like she's at fault you know yeah but that being said guys you know that's it that's it on today's trial that's my little update on the on this case and um i feel kind of silly following it because i feel like there's so many other cases that that should be televised right now so many more important cases but it is what it is right we don't get to pick it or choose it so i'm just gonna cover it um but yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you guys could please go over to the community page and uh, hit that pull up for me and let me know if you want to see my face talking live or if you want me to just keep it to these videos. Either way, I got you, man. All right. Till next video, y'all. Much love. It's your boy, the Piscine Predator. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.